evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Davis is on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. The Dream's making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And he's holding. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to cover up that gut. Good smooth work by Davis. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Now he ties up there. He missed with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Davis has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Nice work by Thunder. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Last 10 seconds. Thunder's well off the mark that time. And we come to the end of round number one. 
the Dream's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches, guess what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Watch the water in the corner. Too much. Here we go. Round two is underway. Not an accurate hook at all. Keep moving. Gotta see those. Now hugging on the inside. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Keep pushing! Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Body shot with the right hand. The Dream's left landing well. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Way through round number two. Sound defense. Good block that time by Davis. Fires right back at him. Use the ring, use the ring. Solid left hand to the head. Finish with a hook. Missed the target with that hook. Good flush shot upstairs. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep going. Well off the mark by the Dream. The Dream's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. The Dream's really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent, laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look for it for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercut's landing. Now put something up top. Number three is underway. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good flush shot by the Dream. Thunder's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Stay with me here. Teddy, 
explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instinct now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Body shot, body shot. Side to side, move your head. Scores up top with a left. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Just hugging there. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. A headshot block. The Dream's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. Missed that uppercut. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And that's the end of round three. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working the yap, okay? Double up the yap and keep moving. Relax, you're doing great. Keep the pressure on him, keep it on him. No need to get excited, you're doing fine. Nice. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time, Clint, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by the Dream. Really frustrating his opponent now. Big shot, the left crashed home. The Dream's got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. Thunder's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Nowhere close that punch by the Dream. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Halfway through this round. Thunders missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Davis is rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round as both men have been affected. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Targeting that straight left hand.
scored well up top. Davis has been hurt. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. Hit the body. Ten seconds remaining in this round. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. How you doing? You okay? I need you to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. You got any more of these? I'll give you one. Hold it. Oh, you need? Yeah. So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. He just missed that shot up top. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Still not moving enough. Let's go, hit him. Move. Relax, relax. Come on, kid. Halfway into round number five here. Unload! Davis has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Go, go, go. Not much action as he just ties up. Thunder's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that's the end of round five. Thunder's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit, where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. He's got nothing left, OK? Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done. Okay, baby. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. So a fresh round is underway. 
but is it a fresh fighter? The Dreams Corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head the dreams making this like artwork here i mean his defense is just a masterpiece well that's the way it's supposed to be actually you know the the sweet science it's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches it's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches you know finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you he understands that Smart left hand by Thunder. Big shot there. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Halfway through round six. Keep moving! Keep moving! You see him holding on. is tagged. Yeah, Momentum it. has shifted. Well, it is a test of wills, of and his will is being tested. I see us. Let it go. Okay. Hook, hook. Nice work. Nice work. Unable to score with the hook. The dream showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts and how much of that is being trained well. Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, show and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Right hand by Thunder. <laughs> this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. What Don't let this you? guy know you're tired. You're not tired. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? There you go. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Says right back with the left hand. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. There you go. And he just holds on there. Work. 
Thunders, making me wonder if his legs are really underneath him. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but the non-stop clinching, it's revealing a lot. Yeah, it is revealing a lot. He's not right. He's hurt a little bit, but he could turn it around for an opportunity for himself because he could grab inside and then let go and then all of a sudden sneak. Bang, 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 and then grab again. He can find the little opportunity if he can think about that. Because he got Callas here. Two, three, four, five. Davis's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Nicely Got gets rid of his opponent's finish. body shot. He's gonna come forward this round. Keep that yeah moving. Keep him away from you. All right. I need you to keep moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Nice run. That was good. Keep that up. We have this one. Looking good, looking good. All right, keep your hands up, all right? All right, you're doing fine. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Start of round number eight. The Dream's in good position. If you look at your scorecard, Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but still a lot of this fight to go. Yeah, you don't become a champion by just winning halfway through. That is the testing of a champion. That's the testing of a top professional fighter. Keep it up, keep that concentration. Thunder's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Solid shot, hey, the left me. hand came in. Hey, keep fighting. Let's go. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Davis is back up on his feet. What will he look like? In the next few moments of this fight, that's the big question. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Unable to land clean by Davis. Thunder's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, he was hurt, but now and bang and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying: falling like a sack of potatoes. Fight is over. The dreams in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner.
that's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.